Hey you guys, so we are on the way to David's Bridal, which is for my dress fitting or whatever. So I've already bought my dress and now I have to go to get it fitted to make sure like it fits. So I'm really excited, but I'm also like nervous because I'm going by myself. Travis is driving because it's far from where we live. I have really bad anxiety on the freeways, so he's going to drop me off. I'm just gonna go in by myself and get it like fit it. I'm kind of bummed because I wish like I had somebody else there to help me other than like some you know random person working at David's Bridal that maybe does not care as much about what it looked like as somebody in my family would or one of my friends. But as you guys all know, everybody in my wedding party and all my family, they don't live here. So I have to do this stuff by myself. So it's kind of sad, but that's okay. I'm staying positive and I'm just hoping that I have somebody really cool in there to help me with my fitting and that will give me my her honest opinion to make sure everything like looks right. And I also wish like I had somebody in there to film it because I can't film myself while I'm getting fitted. I'm gonna attempt to try to do that, but I doubt it's gonna happen. Well, no, I mean, I hope I like it, but originally you said that I'm gonna love it and everyone loves it and your mom loves it and you love it and then after the fact you say, uh, I don't know if you're gonna like it. No, okay, sorry. That is not what I said at all. I said, I loved it, my mom loved it, everybody in the store loved it, I don't know if you're gonna love it. I said, I hope that you like it. I hope I like it too, otherwise I'll have to send it back. <laughs> If everybody else loves it, but I mean, I I'm a guy, so I don't know. I'm, you like I really have different sexy taste. things. He, Travis is really into like sexy clothes, and this is not a sexy dress. It's like a but princess Cinderella dress. There's, yeah, I like like sexy stuff. Short, tight, all that kind of stuff. But that's not However, what a wedding dress is. That's what we're doing right now, and we will see you guys in a little bit. you guys so my dress is back there and it is very exciting to have the dress in the car when I tried the dress on well first let me start by when I first walked in so when I first walked in I told the lady at the front that I was there to try on my dress to make sure that it fit or whatever and I was like I've already bought it and she's like okay she's like bridesmaid and I was like no <laughs> bride and she was like oh I'm sorry she's like are you waiting for anybody and I was like no I'm here by myself she thought <laughs> and Travis is like she probably thought you were such a loser going in there by yourself loser yes what? there's an emphasis on the L O you guys I'm not a loser. loser I just live far from all my family and friends but yeah I just you should you know bad. what you should have done you should have just asked another bridal party bag hey do you mind if I borrow like half of them and then you'll still be left with like 15 <laughs> and I get like you know well, the thing is, you guys, you know, I'm not embarrassed or like being naked in front of other people, but, you You're know, not. I had to get naked in front of, <laughs> no, <laughs> I had to get naked in front of the girl to put my dress on. You know, I just literally met her. She walked in. She's like, hi, I'm here to help you put your dress on. And I was like, okay, cool. She walks in, I get naked. It's like, I, for, for me, it's fine. Like I said, obviously, it's fine for me. I don't care. But for most people, I would think that that's very uncomfortable. Especially if you're not wearing a bra. Wait, do you, are you supposed to wear a bra with a wedding dress? You're supposed to wear like undergarments and stuff, but... Why? Why not just pasties? <laughs> I don't think you even need pasties with the dress because it's so thick. But if you want to save money, you can just put some duct tape over nipples. Or you just don't need skull. to put anything. Mm -hmm. Easy access for after the I'm wedding. probably not even going to wear underwear because that dress is a bitch to like... At first, I was like, how am I going to walk in this thing? She's like, are you planning on like switching dresses? I was like, well, I was planning on it until my mom bought me this expensive ass dress. And now I feel like I don't want to take it off <laughs> for the whole wedding. But I don't know. It's just, a, it's exciting. Even though I went in there by myself, I still have you to talk about it when I get in the car. And I have you guys, so. Mm -hmm, it's like girl time. Girl time. Woo! So you guys, now we're on the way to go get some food, which I'm starving. I cannot wait to eat. And There's what an is the place called? That? It's called. Where are we going? El Pabagayo! <laughs> <laughs> it's a vegan Me Mexican, uh, hold on, it's a vegan Mexican restaurante. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Is it good? My Spanish is, me. Well, you know what, my Spanish is really good. I will say mi español es muy bueno para el gringo de blanco. And watch people that know Spanish and be like, damn dude, that fucking white boy is really good with his Spanish. <laughs> you have no idea what I just said, honey. Yeah, I do. But for our Mexican 
uh, friends, they know what I just said. I know what you said. What? No, you don't even know. What Say I said. it one more time, and I'll tell no, you what you, you said. Already, you already, it's already passed. No, because yeah, but even if you said it in English, I wouldn't remember. So say it again, and I'll try to guess what you said. I said the español es muy bueno. Your Spanish el, is good for a white boy. Para el gringo de blanco. You guys, right. I was I'm raised really by good. Mexican okay, nannies, so hold on. I can understand what you Wait, wait, ask everybody saying. if I have a good Spanish accent. Which I know I do. Let us know in the comments below if you guys think Travis's Spanish accent Are you is to good. Rhyme? No. All right, you guys. <laughs> we'll see you at lunch. Travis found this amazing vegan Mexican restaurant, and they have so much good stuff. And they have this. I'm gonna get the chimichanga, and Travis is gonna get the. It's hard for me to see with the sun. To what is it called? Soy chorizo bean dip crispy taco. Right? Are you excited? What is this place called? I got the vegan mole. I already said it. Oh yeah. Oh, Hi, <laughs> Here's our lunch, you guys. I got the burrito, and Chad got this, which looks really yummy. We are starving, hungry. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you gonna take a picture and Insta Instagram it? Travis is one of those people that takes pictures and posts his food. <laughs> oh, you're so funny, babe. What is it? W I T D. What? No, W I E. What I eat. That's too much. What I eat. Stoops. All right, we're gonna have lunch. So we just did some shopping because it's so nice out. We're like, oh, let's go run some errands. So Travis got a work shirt and he went into Nordstrom's rack behind me. And then I went into Michael's and we got a bunch of wedding stuff from Marshall's and Michael's. So I'm excited about that. And I got some really good deals and was really smart about my shopping, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. And Travis is proud of me. <laughs> we did good. High five. We got a bunch of wedding stuff done and you don't even know it. I don't even know it. You didn't even know it. Didn't even know what? That we did wedding stuff? Yeah, that I got a bunch of stuff done for our wedding. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I'm going to do a whole um, like wedding series on stuff because I've been like really smart about my spending for our wedding and I think that I want to share, share my wedding stuff for anybody else that cares to know. I think that's a good idea. Alright, you ready to go home? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, you guys, I'm like a hot mess. Do you see this hair back here? What is this anyways? Like, how does this even happen? I don't I don't know how my hair just like breaks off like that. Do you guys have that problem? Really good, exciting news. Guess what is in my office closet? That's a disaster, but oh, it's my wedding dress. It's finally here and it's so, so exciting. And this is my office closet, in case you guys haven't seen it. It's a whole disaster. I need to clean it, but it just has like my art stuff and a bunch of stuff. My dress is in there and I'm hiding it from Trav. He's not allowed to see it. Says my mom. And yeah, that's it. But we're really just, I'm just gonna take a shower and we're just gonna like put our pajamas on and get cuddly on the couch. And oh my God, seriously, this is like, this is the worst that I could possibly ever look. So if you guys are seeing this, I am so sorry. <laughs> I promise this does not always look this way. This is just like the worst possible Shannon that you guys are seeing right now. But I just love you so much that I don't care. And you guys love me back. So I don't think you care that much either. But um, here are my little boys on the couch. Hi, boys. Hi. Hi, little Bando. Hey, Bandit. Hi, my little angel. Bandit. Do you want to say hi to all of our friends on the computer? Give them kisses. Oh, you guys, he gave you a kiss. Bandit, you are such a good boy. That was yes, so sweet. Is. You guys, Bandit loves you. See, we teach love in this house. Do you want to say goodbye? Let's end our vlog because I'm going to jump in the shower and then we're just going to watch some movies on the couch. I've been laying here on my heat pad because my back was hurting. Look at that. It's like Popeye the Sailor Man. Woo! Show them your muscles now. You just drank all that spinach. My broken one? Yeah. That's my broken one. That's the re this is the regular one. Awesome. All right. We love you guys. We're sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy. And we hope to see you in tomorrow's video. We'll be here tomorrow. But the question is, is will you?